The NCL Prima is Norwegian Cruise Line's newest ship, kicking things off for its new Prima class ships, set to debut between now and the coming years. The NCL Prima is definitely going to be a game changer, featuring things like the world's first three-story race car track, the world's first and tallest freefall dry slide at sea, and many more industry firsts competing alongside Carnival Cruise Lines with the first roller coaster at sea and even Royal Caribbean with their indoor skydiving and the surfing simulator. With all of the hype and anticipation circulating the launch of the NCL Prima at the time of this recording taking place on September 3rd, 2022, I may or may not have stumbled onto a ton of videos and photos of the ship while it's currently under construction right now. Photos and videos that you will not see ever anywhere around the world meaning i'm gonna show you guys some pretty cool stuff now before i show you content like this i do want to repeat that you will not find content like this literally anywhere in the world so i would appreciate if you guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and of course share this video so more people can see it because i may have a treasure trove of other content from other cruise ships because I've spent the past two years not going on cruise ships just to have fun but also intentionally going out of my way to meet crew members to build a network of people from the largest and best cruise lines and cruise ships from all over the world that way I can continue to get content like this so yes uh, just get, keep that in mind okay let's begin so I'm watching a lot of this just like you are for the first time cool lighting I wonder what this uh, leads to Definitely a change up, because I used to work from the NCL Escape and we didn't have any of this type of lighting. Oh, okay. So what that is right there is the theater. So it's supposed to be a three-story theater that will be turning into, or they say transforming into a Vegas style nightclub. That'll be really cool to see. We got some more of the theater from the ground level. You know, it looks nice, but I honestly thought it'd be a little bit bigger maybe I, I don't know I know NCL Prima is not a massive ship it's not wonder of the seas so this is Hasuki I believe the name is called it's the hibachi style restaurant on board NCL Prima and I believe it's going to be on NCL Viva now between now and the coming years they do have I believe six ships with the NCL Prima class so I believe they should all have this hibachi style restaurant Hasuki on it now, I did look at this prior to this video. I don't know what this venue is. However, if you look closely, you can see the NCL Viva just kind of hanging out there, which means both of the ships are pretty much already built. There's just some internal construction going on between the launch. The NCL Viva is supposed to be launched in 2023, and it's been pushed back, I believe, only once so far. And then also we've had the NCL Prima also had its inaugural sailing date pushed back from August to September. Next up, we have Le Bistro. Now, this is a traditional French-style restaurant on board NCL ships. They had it on the Breakaway class as well. They had it on my ship that I worked on as an entertainer, the NCL Escape. I gotta tell you, mwah, chef's kiss. The food at Le Bistro is absolutely amazing. I will be on board in October. I'm actually looking into the inaugural sailing now that I'm over here in Europe as of right now, so uh, we'll see. Now, I can't confirm, but this does give me crew bar kind of feels. It definitely has the look from the ceiling to the lack of seating, I would imagine that maybe this is the crew bar for the crew uh, or one of them. Who knows? The NCL Prino may have two. I've noticed on newer ships like the, the Virgin Voyages ships, they're putting multiple crew bars, an inside one and an outside one on board these ships. So uh, who knows? Maybe I'll do some digging and find out for sure. Next up, this is definitely the upper deck on one of the upper decks rather of the atrium on board the NCL Prima. I've seen pics of it. Looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to be on board and actually check it out for myself. Now, if that first video that we saw wasn't the crew bar, high dive. This is the crew bar and it's outside. Now, we didn't have one of these when I worked on the NCL Escape. I'm a little jealous. Now, one thing about NCL though is that for the crew, they're not allowed to have hard liquor in the crew area, only beer and wine, but still, being able to be outside for the crew bar, not a bad touch at all. What in the Star Wars is going on here? Look at this uh, futuristic tunnel train thing. What is it? Oh, wait a minute. No, this is called the uh, Galaxy's Quest. No, no, uh, <laughs> sorry. You remember the movie Galaxy Quest? This is called the, the Galaxy Pavilion. Basically, it's supposed to be like a, a virtual playground. They got like some virtual hang gliding. They have Formula One, which and by the way, NCL won't be the, the industry first for that. I believe uh, MSC, they, they did that first. But uh, yeah, this looks like a pretty cool venue. I mean, personally, I'm definitely going to check it out when I'm on board. I love 
sci-fi material and futuristic stuff and whatever they have over here on these blankets here I guess that's what the uh, the bikes or whatever it is are gonna be the items that people will sit down now I do have some more footage of this area but uh, yeah I mean I can't wait attention fragile huh well that has to be that thing that maybe it's like a pod or something that you sit in either way this should be a pretty cool venue that looks like a car over there and uh, well just a bunch of stuff that needs to get placed in its proper place i guess either way it's still pretty cool can't wait to check it out next it looks like we have the lido deck oh there's that like giant loop around slide i forgot what that's called somebody call it i don't know is that a, a toilet bowl slide no i've actually been on one of those on board the wonder of the seas but either way it's a big slide and there's the pools it looks like very cool area quick clip of the surfside grill this is going to be a burger bar I'm not exactly sure what deck this is. However, I do have a map of the uh, entire layout for all the deck plans. Last but not least, we have the Vibe Beach Club. Now, we didn't have this on the Breakaway Class ships when I work on the Escape. However, it doesn't look very beachy as of yet. We do have a jacuzzi over there. We got the top of the NCL Viva, and I'm assuming there's gonna be some lounge chairs and a bar and all that stuff down the road. Oh, we'll see. Anyway, I will be on board the NCL Prima on October 10th. However, I am currently over in France right now. Amsterdam is a cheap flight away, and well, they have a pretty good deal for $1,300 a pop for their inaugural sailing taking place on September 3rd, so I might jump on it. But uh, either way, if you guys want more content like this on this ship or any ship, I do have more content coming on Virgin Voyages and all other lines. Just let me know what you want in the comment section below. And if it gets enough popularity, like this video. Again, if people don't watch this video, well, then I know you don't want this kind of content. So uh, either way, I'll keep an eye on everything. I appreciate all of you. Hit that like button on your way out. Comment in the comment section below. Share this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Take it easy.